How is it going, guys? We have made it out to our beautiful local track, Raceway Park in the Midlands. Alright, so maybe it's not all that beautiful. The track has actually flooded twice in the past couple of years. So it has seen better days. The track surface is really rough, but for a thousand bucks to run out the track, you can't really complain. You find nine other friends that want to come out here and it's a hundred bucks per person. It's probably the cheapest track day you could find. We haven't taken these cars out to the track for quite some time. So uh, we're overdue. Turns out we picked one of the best days to come out here because it is completely drenched out there. It's been raining for the past like 24 hours. It just finally stopped raining. There's a lot of standing water out on the track. It's really slick, but we're gonna go out there, have some fun, and uh, let's see who can put down the fastest wet lap. All right, so here's the plan. We've got four of us here that are gonna drive the WRX. We get three hot laps, and we're gonna take the fastest time out of those three. I've got numbers in a hat here. We're gonna draw to figure out who goes first, second, third, and last. Who wants to draw first? Mad Dog. Why not? David. All right. All right, who's got number one? Number three. God damn it, I got number one. All right, I guess I'm going first. <laughs> Who's going second? I got it. You got second? Yep. You're third. three, you're third. last. All right, let's uh, go see what I can do. What, loser has to drive the uh, loudest car home? Yes. yes. Okay, right. that is that is the, uh, the punishment. So the, the slowest person is driving the, the loudest car home, and then uh, maybe we'll do something else. No, maybe we'll do something for the winner as well. We'll figure that out later. Woo! Here we go, baby. I just, I don't have to win. I just don't have to be slowest. I just gotta be not slowest. I just gotta not suck. See that? Special sauce. Mad Dog Special. Drive fast. Not too fast. get to drive his car home if, if he, he loses. loses. Suck it, Woo. Well, at this rate, Mad Dog's definitely gonna lose. <laughs> Mad 
Doug sucks. Kevin sucks. Who sucks? I'm gonna suck less. He ain't winning. That lap felt fast as fuck. You're a little cocky with the hand out the window. Hey. Alright. Oh, Alright, oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna start making excuses already. If they go faster than me, it's because there's less gas and the car's warmed up. Okay? Yeah, that's just, it. Just uh just saying. Alright. Here we go. disqualified. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> or, or the car is broken. Which means I win. Did you break it? No, I won, bitch. Watch it. You only did two laps. Oh, man. <laughs> My turn. Okay, so David only did two laps. My theory is he only he knew he only did two laps and he's using it as an excuse because he's no he knows he's slower. David is a person of technicalities. Maybe true. Cheater. <laughs> or I can't count. One of the two. I don't know. We'll see. Or maybe I just that fast. I was that fast, I only needed two laps. Go off. Yep, send it. Alright. Alright, drive slow like you usually do. Wow. Like you Alright, well it seems like I'm the resident WRX driver, so we'll see how I do. One flyer. We have two people who cannot count. Unless something's broke. Well, Wu can't count as well as I can. You did one. You did one. Did one you did one flyer, and you didn't finish that lap. That was your second lap. <laughs> See, I thought that was my last lap. <laughs> All right. Is this moment of truth? Okay, we'll go over there and and finish it off and see how um, we did. So, like I said. The person, the slowest lap time of the day has to drive the loudest car, which I think is the BRZ home. Gosh, All right, I'll start off with Wu. He was the last one out there. He only did one hot lap because he miscounted. He ran a one, five, six. Feeling good, okay. feeling good. And then David was next. Oh boy, okay, flying. One five zero. Ooh. Wow. Okay, I thought it was faster. Six, six so seconds. Six. Oh man, you, you better be. <laughs> I'd be worried if I was you. I, okay, I'm, I'm scared. Up here. All right, Mad Dog. 
fastest time, it was your last lap. He actually ran three laps, unlike these two. One, five, four. Ooh. So you better hope I like, Man, am super slow. You're gonna be walking over this point. All right, so my fastest time, a one, four, nine. Oh, oh my God. Man. So Wu is not driving his car <laughs> home today. <laughs> He will be driving the BRZ. Well, unless, unless what? Are we doing the BRZ? Okay, rebuttal. We'll do a rebuttal. If you are the slowest in the BRZ, you can you can drive your car home. Man, you know lost. what? I already lost. We'll guys. do this. We'll do this. The slowest person in the BRZ has to drive it home. There. There you go. Okay. Fair. So, man, if you're slowest again, you, I, I, you, I'm doing. I can't do anything for I, you. <laughs> no, I just, I'm, that's what I get for messing up. This is my punishment. We're gonna do the reverse order. So, who's gonna go first? David second, Mad Dog third, and then I will bring up the rear. Let's do it. Remember, All right, good luck, Wu. All right, let's try now. Don't drive this time. like you drove the WRX. Remember, one, two, three. Driving home. Alright. Gotta move the seat. Yep. Nope. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? <laughs> 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 That's great. Give me the Towards the end, feeling good. Getting comfortable with the car. Quite a bit different than the uh, the WRX, but it's feeling good. I don't look at my time. So. Get my coat out here.
gonna need to. So just when it's my turn, it starts to rain again. It's sprinkling. It's raining. Don't church it up. It's sprinkling. That's my kind of platform. Real drive, simple, good time. I don't know if they left me any brakes. That's all I can smell. All right, here we go. Time to drive slow. All right, here we go, guys. I gotta go out there and beat Wu, and that's it. That's all I have to do. As long as Wu is the slowest, or I'm not the slowest, we have achieved victory. Bye-bye! Faster, you have that platform. You've been on the track for how many days? <laughs> you only took your own car out between sessions. Yeah. I'll meet you guys over there. Seat time. Okay, it is kind of cheating that I do track in FRS, so I kind of, well, not kind of, I have a big advantage. So if I if I'm not the fastest, it's kind of embarrassing in this car, so hopefully that's not the case. But I think we put down a pretty good lap. I glanced down at the time. I'm, I know we went sub twos. Um, so uh, we're gonna take a look. I'm, I'm, obviously I'm the last one. So we're gonna hop out, go through the times, and uh, we'll see where, uh, where we end up. All right, so we just all finished driving the BRZ out on the track. For some of us, this was the first time in a rear wheel drive car. Woo. And you are you were the first time in the all wheel drive car in the WRX. So first time for both of these two. It's been a really long time since David's been out on the track because his car, he hasn't had a running car. Um, but wow. no excuses. <laughs> wow. Times for the BRZ. We're gonna start with Woo. He went first. Take a look here. The wager is slowest drives the BRZ home. The loudest car yeah. we have. And and we gave a rebuttal to Wu, so he has a chance to not drive the BRZ home because he has to get to work here. Um, all right, let's see here. You ran a two zero five point four. All right. So that was the first time. That is the time to beat David's time. You ran a two zero. 2.5. Oh, not driving that home. Mad Dog, you were also in the twos, but yeah. you ran a 2 point, or 201. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> wow. Dang, David. And then I ran a 156. I have, a, as, like, as okay, okay, should. like as I said, should. I have a bit of an advantage. I track my FRS, so it'd be a little bit embarrassing if I didn't go fastest in that car, so that's to be expected. But uh, 
Whoa. It's yeah. pretty embarrassing. I think you're going to. I think you're driving the BRZ home. Ooh. <laughs> Next time. Uh, Next hey, time. at least it's a Subaru. Yeah. And it's a good baseline to see improvements for next time. It's just really loud, is all. There so, uh, yeah, um, that's pretty much the competition for today. We're also going to kind of get together once we get back to the shop to review what changes need to be done to the car. Um, one of the things I think everybody notices is the seating position in the WRX is absolute trash. Um, some of us can barely see over the steering wheel, so that's definitely going to change. Uh, but yeah, when we get back, we're going to go through what we liked about the cars and uh, what we did. All right, uh, first impressions with WRX on track. Very low seating position. I felt like I was sitting on the floor. We also needed to adjust the pedals, bring it out a little bit. Power delivery was very good. Um, pulled all the way through the top end. I think we could add more camber, get a better alignment. Uh, look forward to taking it back out next spring and seeing how much we can improve. The car, I think we unanimously decided that it needs a better seat position, although I do like the R400s that are in it, just because I'm a bit fat bottomed, of course. Otherwise, the power is great. You know, it comes right on. I was really surprised at how quickly you can get on it and just all around have a blast in it, you know? Let me get the excuses out of the way. It was a little bit wet. Just need to build that confidence, get more seat time on track. Let's talk about the car. Definitely puts on power way better than I can expect uh, with the header, J-pipe, catback exhaust, and the tune. I think that's really gonna liven my car up. So kind of future of what my car may turn into. I was able to put the power down right out of the corners and not worry about it not hooking up. It was definitely a car that I want to take around the track more often. All right guys, we have made it back to the shop. All the cars made it back in one piece, so that's awesome. Uh, let's take a moment to talk about what we liked about the WRX and what we didn't like so much. We'll start off with the good stuff. The car pulls like a beast. We just got done tuning this car over at Paragon Performance with Graham from Boosted Performance Tuning. It made about 370 wheel horsepower and 350 foot-pounds of torque. Plenty of power out on the track, especially when I compare it to my FRS, so that's a nice change of pace with the kick in the butt. The suspension also felt great. We've got some Faction Fab FR Spec coilovers on here, same ones I have on my FRS. We probably could have stiffened them up a little bit. Uh, didn't have the adjusters with us, but uh, we could have messed with the damping settings, but they still felt great out on the track. The car also sounds really good. We've got the AWE Touring Edition exhaust on here with the uh, Perrin Cata J-Pipe and the Grim Speed Equal Length header. It's not too loud or obnoxious and it doesn't drone too much, so that's really nice to have if you're planning on going on road trips with this car. We had about a two hour drive uh, and it wasn't too noisy at all. Um, let's talk about what we don't like. The first thing is the seating position in this car is absolutely horrible. The seats are mounted straight to the floor. It's super low. You can barely see over the steering wheel. It's not adjustable, so it also makes it very difficult to uh, get used to the heel toe um, downshift. Uh, we may throw one of the Varus uh, pedal spacers in there to help adjust the um, accelerator thr the throttle pedal so that it's a little more forward towards you and closer to the brake pedal so it's easier to reach over. Uh, also, the tires on this car are super old. I don't know if you guys have seen the video that Yo did a while back where he did a giveaway for anybody who guessed how old those tires are, but they're, uh, they're really old. They're RS3s. Uh, we've had them on the car for quite some time, so that is definitely something that we need to change up. Uh, we want to throw some new wheels on this car as well, so that'll be the perfect time to get some new tires on there. Uh, the, we're missing some interior pieces in this car, so things like the e-brake boot, uh, steering wheel trim, and a couple other items are missing, so we need to get that sorted out. The shifter, so we've got the Boomba short throw shifter on here, which feels great, but I don't like how they moved it closer to the, moved it closer to the driver. Uh, I feel like if they would have just left it in the same position as stock, it would have been fine, but they shifted uh, the whole assembly over a little bit to the left, which brings it closer to the e-brake handle. So depending on how you grab the, sh the uh, 
your shift knob, you may run, you may just ram your hand into the uh, e-brake. So that's not a great feeling. The cross brace, the Cusco, I think it's a Cusco cross brace in the back of the car, really noisy uh, when you're just driving around. Obviously you won't notice it when you're out on track because of all the other noises, but when you're just driving around town, it's really squeaky. Uh, might look into getting either getting rid of that or replacing it with just a strut brace that goes across instead of the, the X brace. But other than that, the car actually feels really good. Uh, better than I expected. Uh, we threw a bunch of parts on this car, uh, so I didn't really have high expectations, but it did exceed my expectations and it felt great out on the track. Uh, I just wish that it would have been dry out there so that we could really put down a fast flyer. But even then, we had a really good time out there. Um, and we definitely need to do this again. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this type of video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions on what tracks we need to go to, or if you guys have any questions, leave a comment in the comment section down below. I wanna thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.